Hello, this is Nelson, and welcome to my channel, The Nell B Life. I'm sharing a series of videos taken during my excursion to Africa. It was my first trip, and I'm traveling with my wife and two good friends, Dexter and Claudette. We started out in Nairobi, Kenya. We visited the Masai Mara, and then on to the Serengeti, and we're starting the morning out in Middle Serengeti, and we are traveling towards the Nagore Nagore Crater today. So I hope you'll stay tuned and take part in some of the experience that we had while we were on our safari adventure. Good morning, everyone. This is my path today for day six in the central Serengeti. And I'm just leaving my camp. It's about 6.15, going on 6.30 in the morning here as we're seven hours ahead of USA time. But look at this lighted path. As you look at the campgrounds, the buses, safari buses will be taken. And the planes, I'm literally in the Serengeti planes. I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned. We spent the night at the Oceon Luxury Safari Camp and it was an amazing experience. We actually heard lions right outside of our tent overnight. They were so close, you could feel the vibration of their panting and their low roar. Here we arrived as strangers, but left feeling a part of the family. Fifty yards in front of our camp entrance, we saw this carcass. It's all that's left of a wildebeest. The beauty of the Serengeti, the endless plains, reveals itself each new day. As the sun rises, it displays a beautiful array of colors. And in the distance, we saw a hot air balloon. In the distance, we saw a hot air balloon being inflated and we will definitely make plans for a hot air balloon trip the next time we are in the Serengeti. We saw jackals out looking for their morning prey and then we suddenly saw the view We saw this beautiful sight with three lion juveniles attentively looking out over the grasslands for their mother. And the mother apparently called them over and they went one by one over to her location. It was just a magnificent sight and a true vision of what Africa has to offer. The lion, the cape buffalo, and the elephant are on Africa's Big Five list. The other two are the rhinoceros and leopard. We have arrived at the border of the Serengeti and the Nagor Nagor Conservation Area. And here's where there is administrative offices that are located. We were able to get out of the vehicle, stretch our legs, go for a walk, take a comfort break. And while there, I walked up to the top of this trail that provided a beautiful 360 degree outlook of the Serengeti.
Grand Nagore Nagora Conservation Area is within the highlands region of Tanzania. And while we were entering into the area, we then came upon the entrance sign. We met some Maasai women who had walked many miles in order to arrive at this location, who offered us an opportunity to have photographs and also to sell some of their wares. Our guide Daniel explained that the Maasai people are at one with the wildlife and there is a mutual respect and they are able to walk many miles through sunlight and evening hours in safety. I was just amazed at how domestic cattle, adults, and children can go about their business while in the presence of predators that could be around. For safety, we could only get out of the vehicle in designated areas and only with the permission of the guide. We could not walk beyond this point because of the potential of predators being around. We were 2,000 feet above the crater floor at the time we started our descent. Inside the crater can be found some 30,000 large mammals, including the Big Five, which is the elephant, buffalo, rhino, lion, and leopard. Up to this point, we've seen four of the Big Five. The only one we haven't yet seen is the rhino, and I'm hopeful that one will be seen here. Nagora Nagora is believed to be a term taken from the Maasai people in the region that describe the veil that hangs around the neck of the leaf owl and herd. The male makes an echoing Nagora Nagora sound, which made the local pastoralists name the area Nagora Nagora.
those uh, grand cassettes, right? This cassette, big yes. ones. Okay. Grand, grand cassette. Grand cassette, Chihara. Yeah, yeah. So uh, those ones with no stripes, they don't have an underneath mm -hmm. stripe. Those are grand pizzas. They always move together with the tone, so pizza. Ahead, you may see the baby, baby tones of pizza. That's look like. We trend it to be in Africa during the time of the start of the dry season when the temperatures are cooler and the wildlife is more active. The crater floor stretches some 500 square miles. There's a herd of hippopotamus in the lake. I'm amazed at the size of Cape Buffalo. Among the big five, the buffalo is one of the most dangerous of them all. Daniel, our guide, told us it was very unusual to see a several cat out during daylight hours. It's normally a nocturnal hunter. Close and tell me how many lions do you see? Crushed to the right of this large male, there is a second male lying in the low grass.
the right of the second lion, there's a third lion, even closer, lying in the flowers. It's scary to know that a full-grown male lion can be that close and not easily be seen. Very far distance, we see our first rhino. So exciting. It's really far away, so I had to use my super telephoto lens to zoom in to get a closer look. I'm standing behind my friend Dexter while he's trying to get a shot. I am very happy to be able to get a clear photo of this magnificent beast. Mission accomplished, we have now seen the big five of Africa. The lion, the leopard, the cape buffalo, the elephant, and the rhinoceros. It's amazing seeing this large herd of Cape Buffalo. We even saw some mating. As we were about to leave the crater floor, we actually saw three more rhinoceros. As we were ascending out of the crater, we saw this huge elephant grazing along the crater wall. It was doing the steepest slope of the crater, which was amazing to me. I was curious that we didn't see any drafts in the crater and Daniel told us it's because the structural design of a giraffe, the canyon wall is too steep for it to navigate going down or coming up. After we arrived to the top of the crater, I thought it was amazing that I could zoom down and see an elephant on the crater there floor. There's not really a road which may reach over there, otherwise by donkey. Okay. Yeah. Some people who really like adventure, yeah. they go by cook the food with the donkeys mm -hmm. and with the local guide and, uh, yeah. who are having those donkeys and Maasai men yeah. because he knows the trails and all yeah. this. The driver has to drive all the way back to the camera and then we meet him after three days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Three days. The view is amazing from the top, looking back down to the crater floor. We made a stop at the administrative office as we were exiting the crater and there was this huge bamboo sitting there. Just had to take some pictures of it. It sat right next to a parking slit, sitting calmly as though it was a domestic dog watching people walking by. After leaving the crater and driving a few miles, we drove through Daniel's home township and there was this large market area where we stopped in order to do some shopping. Picture here is my friend Dexter, Daniel, our guide, and myself, Nelson, on the right. We 
all found some souvenir and gifts to take with us. at seeing these young children out herding the cattle. We drove through a village or a small town's market area. It was amazing to see how many people are out walking seemingly great distances coming and going. We got off the main road and drove down this long dirt road and arrived at our accommodations for the night. Maranera Valley Lodge. It's beautiful. This is our home for tonight. Beautiful accommodations. It's outside of the Nagola crater. And we're on our way to our room. Coming in at sunset. Look at this, it's very nice. Our accommodations for the evening are wonderful and the surrounding is beautiful. 
So we're now going to get settled in and then get ready to go to the dining area for our dinner. This is the view from our balcony and it's so beautiful and peaceful. You can hear the sounds of the African wildlife rustling about, but uh, at this particular time I didn't see anything. We arrived at the dining room and the place setting was just beautiful. Beautiful atmosphere, the food, the soup, the main entree, everything was just delicious. It's been a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day since of our trip to Africa. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll tune back for day seven.